Good evening and welcome to the July edition of the Business Forum. We have a great show for you, so you're going to want to stay tuned for the whole thing. Before we get started, we have to highlight our School of the Month, and that is the Emerald Coast Autism Center and their director, Stacy Berryman. So if you see them, make sure you give them a big shout out and a pat on the back because they're doing a great job there. And they are our School of the Month, the Niceville Valparaiso Chamber of Commerce. My name is Dave Morrow. I'm from the Ryland Morrow Agency. We've got a great show, as I promised. We're going to start off with our coffee sponsor, and that is Northwest Florida State College. Welcome, ladies. Welcome. Thank, you. Thank you. We have two wonderful ladies here that are going to tell us all about what's going on at Northwest Florida State College. First, we have Jeanette Shires, the Maddie Kelly Arts Center uh, director. Yes. Oh, what a wonderful facility that is. Thank you. And I'm sure I'm going to get this wrong. Dr. Sasha Jarrell. That's Did I right. do good? That's ah, right. there you go. And she is Northwest Florida State College's, tell me what you do, Sasha. I'm the Vice President of Academic Affairs. So Vice I'm President of Academic Affairs. Well, how fantastic. And there's great things going on at the college as always. Absolutely. What a beautiful, beautiful facility we have out there. Um, Jeanette, tell us a little bit about how long you've worked at the Maddie Kelly Arts center. Well, Dave, it's hard to believe I'm in my 13th year right now. Oh my now. goodness. Yes, I served as associate director for about over 11 years under the direction of doc Dr. Clifford Heron and now I've just became director that within is, the last year. Yeah, that is truly the the gem of our of our world for sure yes. and so many folks really don't know a lot about what's going on out there, do they? How do you find out what's going on at the well, Maddie Kelly Arts Center? I um, attend two conferences per year. One usually is a performing arts exchange which is in the southeast region and changes mm -hmm. every year and that's kind of where I li we lay the groundwork so to say see what shows are touring and um, and then there's a bigger conference in New York City called APAP and that's where we firm things up meet with other Florida presenters and I see shows and showcases so that's basically how we how we find the shows. So you get to go out and select. What a yes. job! Yes. I think. Yes. <laughs> Do you need an assistant? Well, um. <laughs> no, I don't really have a formal committee, but I yeah. kind of I kind of bounce things off the um, sure, my, sure. my coworkers. And now colleagues. this season you're going to have 12 shows at the Maddie yes. Kelly Arts Center, including Broadway artists, special events, and um, how does this compare to previous seasons? Well, it's it's definitely jam packed for sure, for sure, and we we have quite a variety. I'd like to say we have everything from speakers to skaters. In there we have um, Upright Citizens Brigade coming and that is an improvisational group. They'll do a workshop for area high school students and also college students and they'll put on a presentation in the evening. We have a speaker series starting this year and the former governor Mike Huckabee has agreed to come and speak. Oh my goodness. At the Art Center. Yes, there'll be a reception beforehand for him so you can get up close and personal and he all the all the the fees for this all the uh, ticket proceeds I should say will be going to scholarships. He'll do a Q&A and he's also going to perform, many people don't know this about him, but he's going to perform with our jazz ensemble. So we're really excited really? about that one. <laughs> he's yes. a musician. He's I didn't a musician know that. as well. Yeah. <laughs> so he's very excited about coming and we're, we're excited to have him. Mm -hmm. um, we have a return of a couple, sh couple of shows, Menopause the Musical, back by popular demand, and also In the Mood is going to be performing in the winter months when we have our, our winter guests. Sure. Sure. We have the traditional um, Broadway shows, which um, Camelot and Seven Brides for Seven Brothers. We have a couple of concerts, the Midtown Men, which are the four original cast of the Jersey Boys. Uh -huh. And this show is phenomenal. I was um, fortunate enough to see a showcase on this when I was in New York last year, and they yeah. are phenomenal. They're a tight group. Their voices are fantastic. Another um, concert is One Singular Sensation, featuring all of the music of Marvin Hamlish, and we all know those familiar tunes. Yes. The Way We Were and uh, Goodbye Girl, and we're trying to ap appeal to a younger audience as well. We have Peter and the Star Catcher, which is a prequel to Peter Pan. Uh-huh. Coming and I saw I was lucky enough to see that show in New York and it's just enchanting. It's it's very good. And another show is Recycled Percussion, which is kind of like a drum line and a stomp all yeah, combined. Kind of, yeah. Yes, okay. it's electric and it's been on Vegas for over two years. And then one we're really excited about is Celebration on Ice. And that is going to be unique. Uh, hopefully it will appeal to a younger audience. We have a child's price for that. So that that about sums up our season. And if the folks don't know, uh, you know, the, the shows truly are world class, but the facility is absolutely phenomenal. If you've never had the opportunity to set foot there, you just need to go. I don't care what you go see. Go see the facility. You'll fall in love and they'll just keep coming back, won't they? That's what we'd like to see. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's absolutely gorgeous. For sure. Uh, Dr. Jarrell, we have uh, any new programs that we're getting ready to kick off this fall? 
Well, this fall we'll actually be building on some of the programs that started last year. Mm -hmm. We picked up a new welding certificate. So in three semesters, a student really? can earn a welding certificate at our college. And this, this fall we're happy to add an evening class. So we started with a daytime class last year that was very successful. This year we'll pick up an evening class. We also have two bachelor's programs that started last year, early childhood education and a bachelor's degree in management and supervision. Oh, so both cool. by, um, at the request of our community and we're always looking for other programs to begin that will help the workforce in our area. Sure, and I'm, I'm just curious and I'm sure the folks out there want to know too, but what's the most popular major? The most popular major at our college still by far is our Associate of Arts degree. That degree in, in essence is the first two years of study toward any bachelor's degree in the state of Florida and even out of state as well. So um, Florida has excellent articulation. So if you come to Northwest Florida State College and earn your first two years of study, that two years will transfer to a university um, and it also will transfer into any of our seven bachelor's degrees at the college. Oh, fantastic. And I'm sure there are a thousand great reasons, but, but let's run through a few of the reasons that students would want to choose Northwest Florida State College? Well, Northwest Florida State College, um, first and foremost, I would say our tuition point um, at just a little over $100 a credit hour. Students can earn the credentials that they need to transfer or to join the workforce. And other reasons that I think that Northwest Florida is above the rest would definitely be um, the quality of education that they receive at our college. They're Typically, um, state statistics will show that they're outperforming their native peers when they do transfer to the university. Um, higher GPAs in the junior and senior year. I attribute that to our faculty who are credentialed highly in their area, their yeah. fields. Uh, we rank highest in the state of faculty members who have their doctoral degree in their field. Um, and low class, small class sizes, free tutoring, we really put our hands on our students, get to know them, and they get to know us. So I think that attributes to it, their success. It, an absolutely wonderful atmosphere. I mean, yes. it's, it's a, it is a great school. You have registration coming up for fall classes real soon, don't we you? We do, we do. Starting um, open enrollment will begin in July 23rd for the college. So students can enroll in classes beginning in July. Um, in addition to that, though, there's no, we, no need to wait. They can make an appointment now to see an advisor at the college and prepare their plan of study. Classes do not begin until August 20th, and that's when our fall semester will kick off. And if students wish to start a little later, we even have a mini-mester that will run how do they, in October. How do they get contact with you to get started? It's very easy, nwfsc.edu, our main website, and from there you can go to the student tab and get started with filling out an application. Fantastic. And Jeanette, if they want some information about the Arts Center, what do they do? MaddieKellyArtsCenter.org. Yes, thank visit our website. I have to thank you both for all that you're doing for our community. Uh, your, your footprints are everywhere, and we really, really do appreciate you. And thank you for sponsoring our August 2nd Wednesday breakfast. Absolutely, and thank you for having us yes, today. Yes, thank you very much. <laughs> You're not going to want to go away. We have our very own Okaloosa County School District coming up, and they're going to share some information about our FCAT scores. So don't go away.